Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day because I know I am. I just got the James Charles Morphe palette in the mail from Ulta today, so I am super excited to play with this. So if you want to check it out with me, stick around. And don't forget, if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know what to do. Thanks. Okay, well let's dive right in. I am super excited. I can't even tell you, words do not express how excited I get when I get new eyeshadow palettes, especially one that I have waited a while for. It's so much prettier in real life. And like we've all heard, the names of the colors are actually on this little plastic thing. I think what I might do, even though it's kind of tacky, is I might go ahead and just like tape mine to here, to the, to the top of the palette. So that way I don't lose it. Because I will lose it if it's not attached to something. As you can see, the palette is absolutely stunning. Lots and lots of great colors. Um, I'm not sure, <sighs> wow, I'm really overwhelmed. Part of me wants to dive into the bottom two rows, but then the more sensible par part of me says, you know, you're not familiar with the palette. I did watch James Charles uh, discuss it on one of his YouTube videos, and he did say that with these particular pigments, that they're not super blendable, and to make sure you prime your eye, and, you know, these are a little different to work with because you need to put the dark colors on first. And so, you know, that's kind of backwards from what most of us do. You know, we put a transition shade on, do the corners, and then just kind of keep going. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to go get my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and get started. Okay, I'm back, and I have my MAC paint pot. You can see I've kind of dug into it. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm shedding, which is a problem when you have this much hair. I am thinking of cutting it, so if you guys have any ideas, put it in the comment below. I'm just curious. I have no idea. My hair has just always been long, and I want to try something different. So, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye, and we will get started. Okay, well my eyes are all primed and ready to go. I think I'm going to go in with the color Canvas, which is this top. I'm going to go in with Canvas and just use that to put all over my lid, just to kind of cover the soft ochre since that is a cream based. And even though, yeah, we've heard these colors aren't blendable, I don't know, it's just a habit to go ahead and put something really neutral. I must have tons of single eyeshadows that are just in a nice neutral color to do this with. Because this is the one thing that, you know, you run out of a lot. So, okay, I think I'm going to go for a more sensible look first. Let me grab one of my MAC brushes here. Okay, I'm going to go in with the color Halloween, which is this rust color, and just apply that in my crease on the outside. Wow. This is really pigmented. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Now I'm going to go in with the color Boutique, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to put that in the corner, tap that in, do the same to the other eye. Now I'm going to go into with the color Sister, which is that pinky, peachy, kind of shimmery color. And I'm going to put that on my lid. And I am using the same brush. I'm just kind of wiping it off in between. Ooh. This does blend pretty nice. The shimmers do. I mean, the mattes, that's a totally different formula, so that's to be expected. But I think if you get the mattes kind of where you want and then blend a shimmer over it, 
then you'd be able to get some really nice blended looks because as you can see, that blended out gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And for the top of the lid, I'm going to go in with the color Face, which is this little shimmery color right there. I'm just going to blend that into the top of the color Halloween, just to kind of blend it into the top a little. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the color Literally, which is this little peachy pink shade down there. And I'm just going to pop it in the middle here, just to blend that a little bit. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of the Halloween and go across my lash line. I'm going to take a really small fine brush it's one of my little MAC Christmas brushes. I'm going to put a little of the sister in the lash line to about halfway. And I'm going to do that on both sides. I will be right back. I'm going to put a little uh, color on my face, put some contour on, grab my mascara, make my eyes pop. I will be right back. Hi, I'm back. Well, I grabbed some necessities from my arsenal. I grabbed some Urban Decay. The 24-7 eyeliner, yep, this is the pencil, and it's in the color Perversion, which is basically black. I also grabbed my NYX white eyeliner to put in the waterline. I grabbed my e.l.f. trusty little black liquid eyeliner to add eyeliner to the top of my eyelid, and then I grabbed some Roller Lash by Benefit. So let's go ahead and finish this eye look. Okay, well this is my completed first impression, first kind of really try um, at the new palette. I love the colors. I can't wait to really dive in and experiment and really get into it. Okay, and to keep the party started, you can see I have taken my day eye and really, you know, gave it a little drama, a little depth. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Little secret trick I like to use is I see all kinds of people put the strangest things on their face. And this is medical tape. You don't need a lot. It'll last forever. It's not, you know, wasting the environment. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe a little tiny bit, but, um, you know, it's so much better than the other things that I see people use. And... I think I got this at the dollar store, so it was like a dollar. Um, I bought it before at Walgreens, and it was like five bucks, and then I happened to see it at Dollar Tree. So pick some up. It's a buck. Gives you a perfect line. You don't need very much. And um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye. And what I like to do is I'll attach the tape just at the part that is next to my eye, and then I'll fold over the extra. Because, you know, the less you are attaching anything to your face, the better. So I'm just going to kind of fold this over a little bit. There we go. And I think that's pretty even. What I did was first I went in with the darker shade. Oh, Lord, I need this stupid thing again. I went in with the color Boutique which is this kind of rusty color. And I put that in the outer corner. And I just used a really big fluffy brush because I'm just trying to blend that in. So I'm just gonna blend that and blend that up a little bit. Blend that down. Move it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the color and then I'm going to take the color next to it, Shook. It's kind of a purpley, metallic purple-brown. And I'm going to pop that in as well and just kind of feather that in. Give it that little pinky, mauve -y kind of look to it. And then I'm going to take the color Benny, which is a dark brown. And it is a matte, 
I'm going to take that Benny and move that in. Move that up just a little bit, blending it down, blending it out. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the black, which he calls it Spooky, which that's a cute name. I'm going to take a smaller brush for Spooky because I don't want that to blend out too far. So I'm going to take this little bit tighter brush to create my wing. I'm going to just put that right over the liquid eyeliner that I already have on the eye. Make that nice and dark. I'm going to pull just a little bit of that onto the lash line. And I'm going to clean the brush a little. And I'm going to take a little bit of that Benny, which is the dark brown. So I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit. And then I'm going to just feather that out a little bit. Do the same on this side, getting up a little bit higher. I mean, this is a really dramatic look. Obviously, this is, well, it could be for day. Depends on your personality. And I'm going to just darken up the crease just a little bit. Ooh. A little bit in, these pal in this palette goes a very long way. Okay, I think I've got that pretty close. Okay, and there we have the completed look with the James Charles palette using the neutrals and going from day to night. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. And I just want to send a big special shout out to James Charles. I think you did a great job if you happen in, a, in some weird universe to come across my video. I just want to say thanks. It's working great for me. I love it. Everyone, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.